Hi, my name is Devin, and this is my story. Every obstacle is an opportunity. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Look on the bright side. Sure, optimism is cool, but how do you expect me to be optimistic after losing four years of my life to a system that almost failed me? I went to college, I got a degree, I became a first-generation college student, I got a nice apartment, I got a great job in finance, I did everything right. I saved babies from burning buildings, I volunteered in my community. And there I sat in the dim-lit basement room of the PA Municipal Court with an assortment of green chairs. I sat in one of the green chairs because I was hoping green would give me more luck than I had experienced in the last year. Out of 169 charges, ranging from felonies in the first degree to misdemeanors in the third degree, only one stuck. And it took that one charge to set my family back 200 years. I was coerced into participating in a crime with my ex-boyfriend at the time. You would have thought that someone would have been in that courtroom with me that day, that I would have had a domestic violence advocate petitioning during my sentencing. But I didn't. Just me and my abusive ex-boyfriend, who had already been on probation for the same exact crime that we were in court for today. So I lost my job, my car, my invested money, right respect in my community. Perfect. Add a little bit of court probation fees, 48 grand in college debt, sprinkle the inability to get a job, and you have yourself poverty pie. African Americans are 5.9 times more likely to be incarcerated than whites. So I'm calling you out. I'm calling out all white men who are in position and who are in power, who control the narrative and the fate of black and brown people, to check your privilege. Because if you turn the cheek and you don't do anything to solve the problem, you're a part of the problem. Sorry, not sorry.